Welcome to our 9 a.m. online and on-site worship service. So, again, good morning. Yeah, and I'm Doyle, by the way, and I'm one of the campus missionaries here in Victory Cashin Avenue. And uh, on behalf of Pastor Noel, uh, because as a uh, Neil mentioned, uh, dahil we're talking about family, ngayon po, is, he's attending to his family. And yung po ang heart natin also, and part of our core values is actually family, so I'll be preaching on his behalf. So, message yun na lang po siya, ng, kamustahin yun na lang din po. If you know Pastor Noel, friend po kayo sa Facebook. But today, just like what we're talking about, the title of our new series is called, As For Me and My House. And actually, it's, derived from the uh, verse uh, or the famous, somehow famous verse from Joshua 24, 15, that as for me and my house, makikarugtong po yan. We will serve the Lord. Mostly po, nakikita ko yan sa mga Christian family. Eh, may verse sila, may ganyan sila sa bahay. Dormat, minsan sa dormat pa po. And often then sa mga family na mga nagmi-missions, I grew up with my lola. Di pala grew up kasi college na ako. Saka di po ako lumaki. But, but, but uh, when I was living with my lola, my lola was a missionary as well. He is uh, going to the uh, Islamic uh, nations or people with, mga Muslims po. And there, uh, talagang kasama niya along with her, mostly a families, hindi lang basta mga missionary, but they are carrying along their family with them. And somehow, ako iniisip ko, what if one day si Lola, ayain niya ako, mag-missionaryo ka. Oh, di ko ma-imagine yung buhay actually. That's why we appreciate all those missionaries who have that boldness and courage to go to the place that is so foreign, Di ba? Nakasama yung pamilya nila. Nako, na, may, naisip ko to. Kasama yung pamilya nila. And uh, ako mismo eh, there's fear in me that, ala, may language barrier, the culture is different. Somehow, eh, nakakatakot naman din kasi talaga. But we're not just talking about uh, cultural missionaries or missions going to a foreign land. Na after po this series, alis po kayo dito, mag missions na kayo. We're not just talking about that, but we're going to talk about how we value family here and what is God's purpose, will, and mission and desire for our families here. Because we know that hindi lang na, kung mag-isa ka dito or hindi mo kasama pamilya mo, we know that it is also God's heart for your family to be here as well and worshiping God. Amen? And uh, just like to share the objective of our series. And sabi dito, we will have our families here in our church pursue God-honoring relationships that is anchored on Jesus and leading our families' submission to His will, His purpose, and His mission. Kaya po, uh, ganun na lang po yung pagpapahalaga natin sa pamilya, actually, kasi... Bukod sa part siya ng core values natin, we don't want that to be a tension between us choosing ministry or family. ba? Kaya nga po dito, okay lang po sa atin na nagli-live yung mga pastor during celebration ng kanilang mga uh, anniversary, birthday ng anak nila. At siya papagalitan pa po sila dito ng kanilang co-pastors when they see them, ay, teka, anniversary niya, ba't ka nandito? Or teka, may, may ganap sa bahay niya, ba't ka, because that's how we value family. We have a visitor here from Peru, uh, Pastor Luis, he visited here yesterday, and uh, yesterday nasa Cubao din siya. And nagkaroon kami ng konting chichat, medyo naubusan lang po ako ng English. But I asked him what, uh, is he doing during his rest days? And even him, he answered, he's spending his time mostly with his wife during his Sabbath. Ganyan, na uh, pag talagang araw, Friday kasi yung rest day niya, sabi niya. Pag talagang araw ng Friday, uh, minsan hindi na iwasan kasi minsan po tayo, guilty po tayo na kapag uwi tayo ng trabaho sa bahay. Eh. But, for him, it's ma- he's making that a conviction that araw ng rest day niya would be a family day. 
talagang papanoorin niya daw yung mga palabas na pinapanood ng asawa niya. Kahit sabi niya, minsan siya, I'm dragging my eyes to watch those Uh, maybe, hindi eh, ko alam kung ano, baka mamaya kay drama pinapanood. But how many of us, lalo na yung mga ano po, tatay po natin dito or somehow, uh, dinadrag po tayo ng mga misis natin to watch the things that we like, di ba? And then, somehow, and also, he's spending time with his son. Meron po siya isang son na nag, nagwa-basketball sila together. And that's who we are. Even across the nation, di ba? we saw that how our movement value family. Because, yan, for the next three weeks, yan po ang pag-uusapan natin. His will, His purpose, and His mission for our families here in our church. So today, ang specifically na pag-uusapan po natin is responding to God's call as a family in missions. And we're looking at the story of Abraham where he received God's call Uh, the charge to go from a place to a place that uh, sabi ni God, I will show you. Uncertain pa. And here, he obeyed. And uh, that during that time, we will look at what truths or principle we can get there when he answered the call to go. So, can we all stand as we read the verse that we will be studying today? From Genesis 12, verses 1 to 3, it says here, Now the Lord said to Abram, Go from your country and your kindred and your father's house to the land that I will show you. And I will make of you a great nation, and I will bless you and make your name great. And so that you will be a blessing. I will bless those who bless you, and him who dishonors you I will curse. And in you all the families of the earth shall be blessed. Let's pray. Father, we thank you for your word today. And may the Holy Spirit, Spirit convicts us, Lord, teach us and encourage us, Lord, on how we can respond to your call, not just individually, but also for our families, Lord. Lord, anoint my lips as I preach your word. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen and amen. You may be seated. And as we start, Abraham He received the call after mamatay po yung father niya na si Terah. But during that time, the plan ng kanyang pamilya along with their other fa- with the other families kasi may mga ibang anak pa po si Abraham, the original plan was to go to the land of Canaan, the promised land. Pero along the way po, habang nagte-travel sila, ah uh, po sila sa lugar called Haran. At doon na po sila nagsettle. So, naharang po sila sa, sa haran. Ganun po nangyari. But, imagine, the word is settle. Sabi, nagsettle po sila doon. And probably, uh, imagine a scenario with me. The word settle is something that when you experience, ay, parang convenient na dito. Ah. Ay, parang okay na dito. Malapit sa hospital, may eskwelahan. Minsan, ganun yung mga decision making ng lipat bahay. Eh, di ba? Somehow, uh, tin- kinancel nila yung original plan nila because maybe they found, a con- Terra found a convenient place that I, I think, pwede na to. We can settle here. So that, that happened. So nandun sila, doon na lumaki yung mga anak, doon na lumalaki si Abraham along with his wife and uh, uh, yung iba pa, mga, iba pa niyang mga kapatid. Dun, nandun din si Lot actually. And there, after his dad's passing, dun niya palang na-receive yung call na, alis ka dyan, go from the place where you are and I will show you the, that place. And he did, not just, he did not just take this call individually. After he received that call, he actually uh, carried his family along with Sarah, along with uh, Lot, and Uh, iba pa pong mga kamag-anak. Dinala niya po. So, with that, we can see that God's call is actually not uh, individual, but it is more communal. Kumbaga, kasa- kasama ang fa- pamilya mo, kasama rin yung mga taong nakapaligid sa'yo, they will be affected. And His desire to bless us is not just for us to consume it alone, but also, this is that blessing is also for our families and the next generation families. Then that is 
the original design of God for our families. For our families to be an environment where every family member is nurtured and blessed so that they can thrive to answer God's call. Diba? Hindi, po, hindi lang po para sa atin na pag tinawag ka po ni God na mag-serve sa church, eh, pag uwi po ng bahay, eh, ibang tao ka na, ibang, kubaga, ibang lugar na itong pag-serve na to. Ito, when you are serving in church, what you are facing here, your heart to serve, is your, the same heart to serve your family as well. And the same heart that one day, your family will also serve in a community or in a church as well. Diba, alam ko naman po, heart po natin yung sa pamilya natin that one day, uh, we will bring them here. Uh, they will worship with us here. And that is actually God's heart for us to answer the call along with our family. And yes, He wanted a personal relationship with us. Alam po natin yun, that God is inviting you that, anak, uh, gusto ko ng intimacy with you. Anak, gusto ko... Uh, nakakausap kita. That's why we're having a personal devotion, right? And But also, that, as we talk about calling, it is not just made to you, but it is made available to you and your family. And that's the difference. He is personal, but His call and vision for you is for you and your family. That's why along with that call, there comes a promise, di ba? Sabi dito sa verse, di ba, verse 1 to 2, Go from your country to the land that I will show you. So that's the command. But along with that, sabi dito, I will make you a great nation. Next is, I will bless you. And I will make your name great. Before I share something, I remember nung two weeks ago, kakalipat bahay lang po namin. Yan, uh, ako po ay naninaraan sa isang apartment along with a campus missionary as well. Uh, in, in, lalaki po yun ah, hindi po kami mag- mag-asawa. So, uh, and we're living along Roosevelt. And keren lang po nag-decide kaming lumipat bahay. At ito po yung plot twist. Wala po kami significant reason. <laughs> Sabi na, may biglang nag-offer lang. Oy, ano, uh, open yung apartment Na, or nakita lang ng isang staff namin na may apartment na open. Tingnan namin. And kakilala din kasi. So we visited. So nagtanungan kami. Ano, lipat tayo? O sige, lipat tayo. Yan, lumipat po kami. <laughs> Yun po. So it, it was an impulsive decision. Na, na, ano po ako? Aminado po ako. But during our lipat bahay moment, ayan, thank you Alvin ha, sa pagtulong sa amin din. Ha. Si Timothy din. Yan, thank you. Ha, pag do hindi ako yung bumuhat ng ref. <laughs> Ini-imagine ko yung aircon na, yung ref na yung bubuhatin. Ano ba ito ginagawa namin? Siguro makakarelate din sila, Neil, di ba? Nung nagdilipat ba? Yung inconvenience of carrying those uh, things, lalo yung malalaking bagay na ang hirap, nakakapagod. Ako po pawising tao, lalo pa po siguro pag <laughs> nagbubuhat ng kung ano-ano. Di ba? So, I can imagine the... Uh, kung ako siguro po ah, si Abraham, tapos inutusan ka, uh, alis ka dyan sa lugar mo, uh, pumunta ka to a place na hindi uncertain ka. Diba? Ako nga, walang significant reason, nag-umalis eh. But, I was wondering, what was Abraham's basis of his obedience? Kasi minsan po, bilang tao, napapakwasyon din tayo eh. Ganun ba ka, Ganun ba sila ka-faithful talaga na to answer and step out of faith without knowing what they are doing? But here's, the, here's somehow a basis that we can also get from Abraham's childhood. Uh, hindi po natin makikita yung childhood ni Abraham actually sa Bible. I thank our pastor for their study. So there was a historic, historical account about Abraham's childhood that he grew hindi sa tatay niya na si Tera, but with his grandfather. And during that time, dun sa tatay niya, kinukwento na yung mga the great flood, ganyan, yung moments. So, nagkakaroon na siya ng curiosity, who is the true God? Kasi itong tatay niya na si Tera, he was a priest, and um, uh, ang trabaho niya is gumagawa rin ng mga idols. And with that, syempre, eh, 
dumalaki siya along with those culture, Babylonian culture, nakikreate na yung curiosity sa kanya na, teka, ito bang ginagawa na, na or we worship ng tatay ko is something, uh, is, is it the one true God? So along with that, habang lumalaki siya, nabibuild up na yung, yung pagsik niya sa truth and so one true God. And that's why we can also understand, ganun na lang din yung tapang niya to answer God's call that kahit hindi pa certain yung play, place, but He is after seeking the one true God. Right? And sometimes that, that is also our faith. That means that hindi naman natin alam talaga yung pupuntahan eh. Diba? Hindi naman talaga natin alam kung ano yung mangyayari kinabukasan eh. But because we know that that one true God who gives us that call and that promise, nagiging confident tayo. Diba? Kahit hindi ka sigurado, but ang kasiguraduhan mo, yung character ni God, yung faithfulness na God. Diba? That's the posture of Abraham. Because the same thing, along with that promise, there's a reality that Abraham, sabi diba, I will make you a great nation. I will bless you. But, Imagine that great nation. It means that uh, sabi, he, you will be a father to all nations. Father to all nations. Tapos tinignan niya asawa niya. Tinignan niya, kinawit niya siguro edad niya. Taon na kami, 75 na. 75 siya. Na-receive niya yung call. 75 na ako. Father of all nations. That's the reality. And for us to know, di ba? Uh, alam natin, barren talaga si Sarah. So, habang... Iniisip niya siguro yung promise, nakikita niya rin yung reality. And the same thing with us. Sometimes, you're claiming a promise, you're claiming a breakthrough, but there's the reality. Lord, paano ito mangyayari? Ganito yung nangyayari sa buhay ko. But again, Abraham is not focusing on the reality. He's focusing on the character and after his, his, the will and the purpose of God. Kung sinabi ni God that I will be a father of all nations, kung sinabi ni God that He will bless me, kung sinabi ni God that my, I will be known, my name will be great, therefore, that's the confidence that I will take. And you know what? That decision to answer the call is not just, uh, will not just affect you. Diba? Every time you're making a decision in life, actually, it affects the people around you. Especially kung pamilyado na po tayo, it affects the people, especially your family, right? Kung, magka, kung pipili ka lang po ng trabaho, maapektuhan yung pamilya mo. Kung lilipat ka ng lugar, maap- kasama rin ang pamilya mo. And the same thing with God's mission. Uh, hindi lang po yan para sa'yo, but para yan sa pamilya mo at sa mga taong nakapaligid sa'yo. And that's what we do here in our church as well, that what we do here is not just something that we consume and we do individually. Yung pagdi-disciple, yung pag, uh, pagpupunta sa campus, di ba? It affects uh, everything that we do here affects everyone, di ba? One thing is that uh, as a campus missionary, di ba, uh, we, we, do, we don't just reach a student for him to go here ma, ma, para po siya makakilala sa Diyos. Yes, that's our heart. But part of our campus manifesto is actually when we, reach a fa- when, when we reach a student, we reach a family. That's also our heart na yung pamilya niya one day, dadali niya rin dito. I-invite niya rin dito. And it does not apply just in the campus ministry. We be, uh, tayo po being here, that's also our heart that hindi lang po tayo dito ang mag enjoy enjoying the grace of God, right? But one day, all of our family members will enjoy the calling, the mission that God has for us. And I'm actually admiring those pastors, those people who are really uh, taking the leap of faith just to answer the call and carry along their family. Just like Pastor Rico, the, former, the previous senior pastor of Victory Ortigas. And... Tama, pandemic, pandemic po niya, pandemic po sila pumunta ng pamilya niya, kasama ang asawa niya at mga anak niya sa Panama. Di ba? To plant a church there, to do campus ministry there, to preach the gospel there. And that mission was given to Pastor Rico, of course, being the head of the, lead of the family. But he did not just go there alone. Di ba? Sinama niya po yung pamilya niya. 
And that's our heart as well, that whatever mission God has entrusted to us is that hindi po yun something that you will embrace alone. You will also cast that vision to your family that um, together we will do this. Together we will serve God. That as for me and my house, we will serve the Lord. Next thing is that the blessing for our family is a blessing to others too. Diba? That He has a greater purpose not just the, for the family of Abraham, but for all the families of the earth too. Diba? And in verse, uh, the same verse that we are reading, the implication of those promises, sabi diba, that, I will, that you will become a father of all nations, that I will bless you, that, you will be, that your name will be great. Hindi lang yun basta para sa pamilya niya. Diba? At para sa kanya. But also, sabi dito, dahil, so that you will be a blessing. And another thing, so that in you, all the families of the earth shall be blessed. And when God, we know that when God blesses us, it's, it goes beyond us and our family members. Kumbaga, it's not just inward, but also outward ang design ni God for us. And it's God's desire for our families to be blessed. Amen? Diba? And when we talk about blessing, of course, we know that God being the provider, He is taking care of our concerns about our finances. Pero yun yung common connotation natin as people, as human, to paano ko makakapag-bless? Eh, butas ang wallet, di ba? Paano ko makakapag-bless? But more than being a blessing financially, that's why... We extend our generosity giving to real life, to our missions, to our campus ministry. If there's a brother in need, diba, in church, diba, tumutulong tayo. But more than being limited with, our, with what we have in our pockets, God did not just bless us financially. God blessed us with something that, tanong po natin sa salini natin, Lord, what do I have? so that I can be a blessing to other people, to, to, to those people around us, to the families around me. And we don't just pray for finances. We also pray for the things that will influence other people so that we can be a blessing to them. For just example, ito po, uh, siguro yung paglipat namin na bigyan ng meaning when, uh, kasi po sa, kanila, sa, ano, sa kapitbahay po namin sila ngayon, so the Blas family is one of the families serving here in our church. And this couple actually leads our couple's leadership group. And they are also serving here in church along with the kids. Si J- JJ, yan tawag namin sa kanya, saka si Bianca. JJ is helping our tech and also our kids' church. The same thing with Bianca who's singing and uh, using her abilities and talents to sing, to worship God, to lead our uh, congr- our ENC youth in worship. And that's the beauty of being a blessing to others as well. Bukod po sa, yes, pinapakain niya po yung mga campus missionaries pag ini-invite niya po kami. At pag birthday po, pinapadalahan niya din po kami ng pagkain. That's a tangible blessing. Yes, it is. But more than just uh, using our resources, we can use ourselves to be a blessing to others to pray for other people, to serve the church, to use our abilities, to serve the ministry, to use our skills, to, to, work, to serve God. And that's how us being a family, serving and being a blessing to others too. And we're not limited, us, uh, tayo po dito sa church, being a blessing to one another, but we know that God will give you something that an opportunity or a privilege that would help you and your family be a blessing to other people. Diba? Kung ang bahay niyo po ay uh, nagiging uh, puntahan ng mga taong humihingi ng advice, why not? Uh, also, just to mention, we have a family there na hindi part po ng movement natin sa, sa Makati, but they made something na... They embraced na, ano pa, 10 years ago ginagawa na nila. They're using their house as a home of missionaries na nag-aaral po sa every nation. At doon din po kami tumira during the School of Campus Ministry namin. And they're using their home to, to host those missionaries, 
pinapatera po nila sa so, sa maliit na uh, renta lang talaga. Minsan pinapa, siya pa nga nagpapakain eh. Kaya pag tinatanong namin, bakit kayo po ito ginagawa? Eh, wala naman po kayong kita dito. Para kayo pa po yung nagpapakain minsan sa mga missionaries. But he, she answered that, that it's our heart. We know that God built this home to serve His people. ba diba? So, that's our that's the heart of God when He blesses us, for us to be a blessing to other people. And just to add attention, actually, sa mga pinag-usapan po natin, we know that, yes, Abraham received that call and the promise. But the sad thing about this, yan po may sad thing, is that actually we're not descendants of Abraham, right? Hindi po tayo direct lineage ni Abraham. So the question is, how can we maximize or embrace the same promise that Abraham has had? Right? But we know that during the, uh, in the lineage of Abraham comes also Jesus. And that's why we inherit as well a new genealogy becoming related to Abraham through Christ's redemptive work. When Abraham responded and obeyed God, obeyed God's call. It's not just that siya po yung naging daan, siya po yung rason, ha? but it made way, it paved way to God's greater plan of mankind redemption. It's actually a setup for Abraham. It's actually uh, he, God's plan that through the lineage of Abraham, Jesus will come to redeem all of us. So that we can embrace the same promise too. So that we can embrace the same purpose too. The same mission that Abraham had. The, so that the families of the earth shall be blessed. Because imagine that. That's an indirect calling for us. Yung calling ni Abraham is somehow hindi naman po sinabi sa'yo na yan din yung calling, yung calling ni Abraham, sa'yo din yan. It's indirect. But through Christ's redemptive work, his sacrifice, what He has done on the cross, now it has made available to all of us as well. So that you, your life, and your family will be a blessing to others too. So, hindi lang po dahil blessing, because you will now preach the love, the grace of God to the people around you, to the families around you. And that's the greater blessing that we can all share to other people in our lives. In Galatians 3, 7-9, Know that it is those of faith who are the sons of Abraham and the scripture foreseeing that God would justify the Gentiles by faith preached the gospel beforehand to Abraham saying, In you shall all the nations be blessed. So then, those who are of faith are blessed along with Abraham, the man of faith. In here we see Una pa lang, prinitch na daw, di ba? Ni God, kay Abraham yung gospel. That in you, in you shall all the nations be blessed. We are blessed because by faith, we understand the work, the finished work of Jesus Christ. That by faith, it implies that God's desire to save our families and each family members it is also God's desire to bless our families. And it's God's desire to redeem us all so that we can understand the mission together along with our families. Amen. As we end, we will pray and I call on the music team as well. Can we all stand? Honestly, preaching about family is something that ako po personally, gusto ko sanang iwasan. Because I myself experienced a not so good uh, childhood with my family. I, I did not grow up with my biological family. I grew up with strangers, with the families that I don't know. 
But I understand when I met Jesus Christ, and encountered Jesus Christ, that what happened to me is not something that I will carry along so that it will be a burden and para mamuhay akong broken. But it's actually a setup for me to understand His redemptive work that you, Doyle, one day, you will also claim that you and your family will be a blessing. That you will have your own family worshiping God together. That you will have your family as well preaching the love of Jesus Christ. Preaching the love of God. And maybe as we pray, first thing is that some of us here, iilan pa lang tayong kristyano sa pamilya natin. But you know, it's not an accident for us to be called, to be called first. But it's actually God's heart so that you get to understand the love, the work of Jesus, the grace of Christ. So that the time will come that you will be a demonstration of His love and grace to your family as well. So that one day, makikita mo yung pamilya mo, look at the empty chairs, at empty seats. You will be worshiping with them one day. Father, that's our prayer, Lord. Yes, I'm enjoying, and I, there's joy in me about knowing you as my Lord and Savior, but I, we don't want that to end in us. Panginoon, gamitin mo kami, Panginoon, ang buhay namin upang maging instrumento ng pagmamahal mo sa pamilya namin. That every time we will go home, Lord, that our speech, Lord, our actions will be a demonstration of your love. So that one day, Lord, they will see, Lord, Ano ba yung meron sa anak kong to? Ano ba meron sa asawa kong to? They will see Jesus Christ in us. And one day, Lord, we're excited to see a vision, Lord. Not just a vision, that a vision that will come to pass, Lord. That we will see our families declaring your name. Minsan, darating yung panahon na mas mataas pa yung taas ng kamay nila kaysa sa amin, Panginoon. Masisigaw pa sila. Mas malakas pa yung sigaw nila sa amin, Panginoon. In worshiping and declaring your name. Lord, we're claiming that, Lord, in Jesus' name. And to us as well here, Lord, for every family is represented here, we pray, Lord, that your mission, your mission for us to be a vessel, Lord, of your gospel, Lord, to be an avenue of your love and grace, Lord, we embrace that calling, Lord. We embrace that call along with that faith and trust, Lord, and obedience, Panginoon, knowing that what we're after, Lord, is not the promise, but you, O oh God, knowing that the confidence that we have is in your character, Lord, that you gave that promise. So that's why we are secure and confident that hindi mo kami papabayaan along the way. Salamat, Panginoon, that gagamitin mo ang bawat miyembro ng pamilya, anak, asawa, uh, si Lolo, si Lola, Panginoon. I pray, Lord, that, they will, that each family member, Panginoon, will be of use to proclaim your name. And Lord, as a spiritual family, that's our prayer as well. That our, your heart, your mission that you have given to us to honor you and to disciple the people is something that we will do together with joy, with passion, Lord. Because the Holy Spirit is upon us. Thank you and we glorify you. In Jesus' name, amen and amen. Let's worship God.
all your voices we sing. You're mighty in power. Oh, Jesus the great. Awesome, wonderful God is mighty in power, author of wisdom, better than love. 